everyone today we will study about uh, planaria that is a type study on planaria okay first we will look out for the uh, general characteristics uh, sorry classification of planaria planaria classified into phylum platyhelminthes class to, to uh, terbelaria order triclatida okay uh, it is free living oscillomate flat worm with a bilateral symmetrical body it is triploblastic it has a triploblastic body wall hence it is included in the phylum platyhelminthes and class terbelaria okay it is free living flat worm it is found in a fresh water animal okay they, uh, they are mostly found in a fresh water this particular species and it lives in the ponds lakes marshes uh, then rivers etc it is found on a vegetation or under stones okay and it is omnivorous in habit and it is nocturnal animal omnivorous means it, they feed on a algae of small plants and all okay and nocturnal means they are uh, they are active during night time okay that uh, the animal which are active during night is called as a nocturnal animal okay then uh, they have a elongated flattened leaf like bilateral symmetrical it grows to the 50 to 15, uh, 15 to 50 mm long it has a definite anterior and a posterior end and a dorsal and ventral surfaces okay anterior means upper part okay uh, upper where uh, for example in humans it refers to the head okay and uh, posterior means uh, down that is uh, legs okay or hind limbs okay uh, whereas the dorsal is the back side of the human beings and the in the ventral in a in us human beings is the front okay so but uh, in a planaria the anterior end is a broad and pointed one okay and uh, posterior end is the narrow and blunt one okay uh, and a dorsal surface is con convex okay that is a uh, in a planaria dorsal surface is convex and it bears two pairs of eyes okay um, okay and um, the ventral surface is flat and ciliated uh, then uh, this uh, basically uh, the body of the planaria is divided into two region namely the head par, head and into into head and trunk okay the head is uh, triangular in shape and it has a pair of lateral conical projection called as a auricles okay and the head bears a pair of uh, eyes on the dorsal side okay uh, whereas the mouth is situated in the middle of the body on the ventral surface okay uh, the pharynx pro, uh, protrudes through the mouth and it is called as a proboscis okay for better understanding we'll reverse this picture that is in this uh, this is a picture uh, figure is of planaria uh, in which dorsal view plus ventral view is shown the planaria is divided into anterior part and posterior part okay that is the anterior part uh, include head which is flattened uh, narrow and uh, uh, sorry broad and pointed one whereas the posterior part is narrow and a blunt one okay uh, and it is also divided into two parts that is the head and trunk region the head uh, is triangular in shape and it has a pair of lateral conical projection called as a auricles it is uh, marked okay in the dorsal view it is shown that auricles even uh, ventral view the auricles are seen then uh, the head bears a pair of eyes on the dorsal side uh, so it is again divided into dorsal and ventral dorsal side um, dorsal surface include pair of eyes whereas the ventral surface include a mouth opening called mouth uh, which is situated on the middle of the ventral surface okay and it has a uh, pharynx uh, protrudes to the mouth and it is called as a proboscis over here okay 
an opening uh, that proboscis is called uh, the proboscis has a opening called as a uh, opening for the pharynx okay and it uh, it also has a behind the mouth there is another small opening called as a genital aperture okay even there are numerous minute opening uh, located on the surface of the body uh, called excretory pores okay thus the anus is absent hmm? uh, then next is the body wall of planaria the body wall of planaria, planaria is triploblastic that is it has a three layers uh, outer epidermis inner endoderm and in between there will be another mesoderm layer will be present so that is triploblastic organism okay and um, uh, so yeah uh, Thus, the strip in planaria, the triploblastic um, layers uh, is composed of or formed of three different layers. That is, epidermis, basement membrane, and then the muscle la muscles and parenchyma. In the in the platyhelminthes, the mesenchyma is uh, refers to the the parenchyma. Okay. So first one is epidermis. Epidermis is the outer layer. it is formed of a single layer of a pillar like cells okay uh, and uh, this cells of the uh, ventral side uh, bears a cilia the epidermal cell contain rod like structure called as a rub um, rubber dyes um, which is uh, discharged from uh, discharge into the surrounding it gets well swell up stick to together and form a froth okay and this uh, rubber dyes uh, helps in capturing the prey and uh, in it also provide the protection okay uh, the epidermis also contain numerous mucus gland okay then second uh, second layer is the basement membrane the basement membrane uh, lies below the epidermis and it is formed of the connective tissues okay Uh, then next is the muscle the muscles are located below the basement membrane they are arranged in a four phases and are named as a circular mu uh, muscle oblique muscle longitudinal muscle and vertical muscle okay the circular muscle are arranged in the form of rings around the body whereas the longitudinal muscles are arranged antero posteriorly and the oblique muscles are arranged obliquely okay and the ventricular muscles are arranged between the dorsal and ventral body wall the fourth layer is the parenchyma the parenchyma or also known as a mesenchyma is a tissue that fills the space lying between the internal organ it is in the form of network it contain many formative cells and pigmented cells okay. so this is the picture of the body wall of the uh, planaria transverse section of the planaria in this it is uh, clearly observed that there are four different types of muscles uh, that is first one is the circular cells uh, which Uh, which uh, which forms a ring around the body then followed by long uh, after that oblique cells are there uh, sorry uh, ring around the ball then the longitudinal muscles are there below uh, circular muscle there is uh, longitudinal muscles uh, which are uh, arranged antero posteriorly Uh, then comes the oblique muscles which are embedded in between the uh, this uh, longitudinal muscles okay uh, then uh, it is also uh, there are uh, another type that is the vertical muscles are also there which are arranged between the dorsal and ventral body wall okay and uh, in a dorsal Uh, as in a ventral surface, uh, it is shown that uh, they have a uh, cilia in the ventral surface. Okay, uh, even the formative cells and the pigmented cells are marked. No, sorry, formative cells are marked. Mucus gland cells is also marked. Okay.
so we'll uh, revised again so now we will revise it again this planaria is divide is uh, belong to the phylum uh, platyhelminthes class turbellaria it is free living freshwater animal with the omnivorous feeding habit is omnivorous with the noct uh, active during night that is a nocturnal animal it has a elongated flattened leaf like body uh, which is bilaterally symmetrical and then uh, the body is divided into anterior end and posterior end and also divided into dorsal surface has a dorsal surface and uh, ventral surface okay and body is also divided into head and trunk okay so uh, anterior end uh, is a broad and pointed with the head head as a uh, pair of uh, eyes and it has a, tr uh, a lateral uh, triangular projection called as a auricles okay uh, and in the posterior end uh, it is narrow and blunt dorsal surface is convex and it, it has a pair of uh, eyes whereas the ventral ventral uh, surface is flat and ciliated and it has a mouth mouth has a pharynx which have projects out uh, in a proboscis proboscis has an opening for the pharynx below the mouth there is below the mouth uh, there is a small opening called as a genital aperture okay then uh, there uh, the body is also covered with the numerous opening called as a or pores called as a excretory pores has the anus is absent okay then the body wall is triploblastic and it is composed of epidermis basement membrane muscles parenchyma okay the epidermis is the outermost layer formed by a single layer of pillar like cell the ventral side of the epidermis is ciliated it uh, it has the rhabdoids which are discharged into the environment it gets well stick together and form a froth this froth helps in uh, uh, capturing the prey plus also it also uh, protects the planaria or organism it has a mucus gland to on the epidermis okay then next one is the basement membrane basement membrane lie below the epidermis and it is formed by the connective tissues next is the muscles muscles has a uh, arranged in a four planes and this planes uh, planes are called as a circular oblique longitudinal and vertical muscles okay the circular muscles uh, forms a ring around the body whereas longitudinal muscle arrange antero posteriorly oblique muscles lies obliquely whereas the vertical muscles are arranged between the dorsal and ventral body wall okay and uh, this uh, muscles helps in a locomotion okay then next one is the parenchyma parenchyma is a uh, uh, is a uh, uh, fills the space between uh, internal organs and it is form as the network okay and it contains many formative and the pigmented cells next one uh, next is the locomotion locomotion in uh, planaria is of two types as they can't swim they show two type of locomotion gliding and crawling in a gliding what happens the cilia which are present on a ventral surface uh, bits uh, uh uh bits backward and the muscular waves uh, and forms the muscular waves that pass over the body from front to rear part okay that is the back part and the gliding is also fa uh, facilitated by the mucus tract which is secreted by the mucus gland that opens out throughout the epidermis on the ventral surface okay and this mu mucus helps in uh, helps in a Uh, provides the grip to the cilia and also protects from the injury to the substratum uh, the worm uh, while the uh, gliding type the worm keeps the head slightly elevated during the gliding okay whereas the next one is the crawling here the muscle cells are involved has uh, in a crawling what happens uh, crawling is uh, Uh, bring about by or uh, brought about by the contraction of the circular muscles okay and uh, first the um, anterior end is fixed to the substratum uh, and uh, uh, and the hind ends uh, forward by the 
contracting the longitudinal muscles okay uh, first the uh, anterior end get fixed to the substratum by the cord of mucus and that pulls the hind uh, hind end or the posterior end forward by contracting the longitudinal muscles then longitudinal muscle contract alternately the right to left side of the body as a result the head also that is anterior end also um, contract alternatively alternatively thus the worm moves forward okay this is the uh, today's lecture and thank you uh, in the next lecture we will uh, do further uh, characteristics of the planaria okay thank you